This is from the pages of a macroeconomic textbook by Willem Mitchell L. Randall Ray and Martin Watts on page 9. This list is on the United Nations website. Please tell me in the comment section what country follows this and would you move to that country if you have the means. Okay, let's start. The articles that define the declaration include 1. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. 2. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all forms. 3. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted them by the Constitution or by law. 4. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. 5. Everyone has to a nationality. 6. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as marriage, during marriage and at its dissolution. 7. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as associated with others. 8. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion, this right includes freedom to change their religion or belief, in teaching, practice, worship and observance. 9. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. 10. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. 11. Everyone has the right to take part in government of their country, directly or through freely chosen representation. 12. Everyone has the right of equal access to public services in their country. 13. Everyone, as a member of society, has the right to social security and is entitled to realization, through national effort and international cooperation and in accordance with the organization and resources of each state, of the economic, social and cultural rights indispensable for their dignity and the free development of their personality. 14. Everyone has the right to work to free choice of employment, to just and favorable conditions work and to protect against unemployment.15. Everyone, without any discrimination, has the right to equal pay for equal work. 16. Everyone who works has the right to just and favorable remuneration ensuring for themselves and their family an existence worthy of human dignity and supplement, if necessary, by other means of social protection. 17. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade unions for the protection of their interest. 18. Everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable limitation of working hours and periodic holidays with pay. 19. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for health and well-being of themselves and of their family, including food, clothing, housing and medical care and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of unemployment sickness, disability, widowhood, old age or lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond their control. 20. Everyone has the right to an education. Education shall be free, at least in the elementary and fundamental stages. Elementary education shall be compulsory. Technical and professional education shall be made generally available and higher education shall be equally accessible to all on the basis of merit. 21. Everyone has the right freely to participate in cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts and to share in scientific advanced and its benefits. It is obvious that these human rights especially near the end of this list are connected to the operation of the economy. For more about MMT go to rayalprogressives.org.